Hey guys, welcome to my shop. My name is Pierre from Can-Am, Spider Accessories and Spider TV. In today's video, we're going to be presenting and doing the installation for these beautiful, this is our brand new product, these beautiful, beautiful F3 epoxy gel tank pads. Online, we have close to 50 models, different themes and different colors that are now available for you guys. Now, we worked really hard on design to try to find something that would please the majority of riders. So we went ahead with things that are a little bit more standard. These kind of designs here are available in the blue. We have it in the red. I also have it in orange yellow for the new Can-Am spiders that have the yellow tubing instead of the orange. So uh, that will be a perfect match for you guys. We also have in 2017, well, the blue spider. So this will go really nice with it. As you can see, this is going to be the one I'm going to be installing today. It goes with my beautiful trailer that I have and also with my beautiful A3 that's been painted blue for the past two years, do I say that BRP copied me? Maybe just a little bit, but I do have a blue that's very, very similar to the 2017 uh, F3 lineup. Now we also went a little more artistic as well, depending on your personal taste. We have a whole bunch of these kinds of designs here. Now this is one uh, with the eagle. We have it with the angel. We call it the dark angel as well. Uh, I do have as well online a lineup of carbon fiber with uh, the beautiful f3 that you can change the color you can get it in green in blue in yellow in red in white black on black you can get the orange as well so there's a bunch of different uh, options for you so you can personalize your tank pad along with those we're going to be uh, i wanted to make sure that you understood that in this kit you don't just get the the center tank pad uh, we went ahead and did the sides as well so this covers pretty much well this sheet is actually 12 uh, by 14 and a half so you can see we cover about 11 to uh, 11 to 14 and a half inches of uh, you know footage on your bike for the tank so you get this one you will fit right up the top and then you can distance this one because we made it in six six pieces so one two three, four, five, six with the sides, and you're getting some extra little logos here that we may change once in a while, you know, and keep uh, surprising you guys, but we can alternate with these. These are also gel, uh, epoxy gel, and you get the uh, beautiful Canon Spider logo as well if you want to put that on your spider. We also uh, went a little crazy and started doing some uh, some skulls. We have a couple of design in those that you can get for your F3. Uh, depending on your taste, always, if you have uh, a white F3 or if you want something a little more, uh, you know, in the pink and the flowers for the ladies, we have some of those as well. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of choice. Let me tell you a little bit about the epoxy gel. It's a first quality epoxy gel, not made in China. Uh, we apply, uh, it's a two-step process. It's two liquids that come together and it's all done by hand. It's a little artistic actually. Uh, you need to be quite good at the application. I didn't know it was so complicated, but the lady that does this is very, very good. The vinyl is also top quality vinyl. So much so that, you know, the industry usually uh, backs these products or something similar to this for a year no no not us not one year not three years but five years guys if within five years of you purchasing one of these it breaks down changes colors no question asked you send me a picture I send you a new one so let's get to the installation process. You're going to need a couple of things that you can find around the house. So most of us have got uh, some uh, microfiber cloth. So I want you to have one of those. Uh, if you have a bottle of, uh, we call it rubbing alcohol in the house, that could be useful. But we do include some little pads that uh, have alcohol so you can clean down the tank. I do suggest that you have uh, uh, 
hair dryer. I'll find my English. This is a hair dryer. We're going to warm up a little bit uh, the epoxy gel. It's not a must, but it just depends on the temperature that you have in your garage or that you're doing outside. I do recommend you try to do this inside. You want to keep all the dust away. When you do your application, be away from the wind as well. Uh, but if it's not possible and you're doing it outside, uh, I'd rather be, uh, you know, a little bit in the shade, but it's, if it's a little bit cool outside, that's why I want you to have the ha hair dryer handy so you can warm up just a little bit uh, of the epoxy gel before you do your application. So I'm going to take for granted that you've already washed and wiped your bike down. If you do use something like wipe shine or uh, things like that or if you have some wax in your soap. Now what we're trying to do with the rubbing alcohol is try to get rid of all that wax. Uh, you could use some strong Windex, you know, some glass cleaner to uh, try to get all that grime or anything else that would be shiny on the tank. So the next minute or so is actually uh, being shot the day after I shot the original video. Uh, I forgot to mention one thing and I didn't want to put the video online without telling you guys. There are actually, when you're going to see me do uh, the part where I put, I do the installation and I do the sides here. I forgot to tell you that I'm a big guy and what I found is that for bigger persons like myself, we can actually, uh, when you do the sides, you can actually swap these out. You can do a 180 with it. So if you want more protection at the bottom, you can actually take these pieces and they'll fit here and you can take the thinner piece like this and just put it right up top. It'll still look really good. If I don't tell you, probably you don't notice, but I, I forgot to say in the video and I was doing the editing, I said, I'm going to go back. I didn't want to redo the whole video. So uh, as you can see, uh, I, I cut my hair, I trimmed my beard, I even got the another shirt on. So that's the reason I'm the day after. And I wanted to make sure that you knew that when you're installing the sides, you can actually switch them up. We'll keep watching the video though. Here we go. Just before doing the application, I'm just going to give a little bit of a warm air from a hair dryer. I'm actually inside the garage. It's about uh, 72 degrees now, so it's actually really nice. It's a perfect temperature, but just uh, in case you want to get it, you know, nice and flexible. Uh, so give it a little bit of a uh, warm air. With the installation that I've done so far, uh, I prefer where I'm actually sitting on the bike and I can see, you know, the dash and I can see the ignition here and the center of uh, the gas cap and it helps me align myself. Now, this is all done by eye. You might want to use other methods, but uh, I assure you with all the ones I've done so far, just by sitting on the bike at the start to get, especially that first piece uh, is the best uh, way I've found so far. Now you're going to notice as you get, if you look at the gas cap and this way, you have a flat surface for the gas cap, of course, and you do have like a quarter inch here of a flat surface. You don't want to go on there and you want to try to stay maybe about 3 16 or a quarter inch underneath that as there is a little bit of a lip here and you want to try to get away from that. Just be underneath that little lip that you got here in that little ledge. You do have some graphic on this one here, so it's going to be a little easier to uh, be able to center everything. Now the technique that I tried or that I'm using is actually, I, I put a little bit of the sticky part right here and then I went down with the two ledges on each side. I just went down slowly and as you go down slowly, you can actually keep lining yourself uh, up as you put it down. Now there's this little ledge that goes inside here. So that was a reference point for me and the same thing on the other side. So as I pushed it down, I knew I was going to be okay because these two sides here were lining up perfectly and I've got my one eighth around here. So that's perfect. And then it's just a matter of letting it fall where it falls as you're pushing it downwards, down the center and then to the sides, just using your two thumbs and just making sure that it's pressed down everywhere. I'm a big guy, so I don't have as much space as everybody else. So I might actually need to get up on the back seat to be able to line myself up and then decide where I want to put this piece. 
If I have a look at my tank pack right now, just where I've got my finger down here, I can already see that it's been damaged. So this is definitely a problem area that I want to address with this because the tendency was, was maybe to put it right up here but you may want to stretch it down just a little bit so you can cover if you have a problem area. So same thing, I'm, I'm putting pressure right in the middle first and I'm going to do the, the, you know, these two uppers here like the wings and then I'm just going to press downwards, center and then on the side to do the bottom part. To do the sides, I recommend that we do the two upper sides and then the two bottom ones. Instead of going all on one side, I think you want to do each side up top and then decide where you want to put the two bottom ones right here. For this side, you can see I've put my fingers right underneath there. So I can actually hold the piece like that. And I'm trying to see where I like the fit by this here, the distance here, and the distance here. So I'm trying to find something that will just look natural and look nice. So I hope you enjoyed that installation video. That was just about 10 to 15 minute project from start to finish. Gives you amazing results for under $100. You can buy one of these. Like I said, find everything on canamspideraccessories.com. That's canamspideraccessories.com. These tank pads are in the F3 section. Just go down the scroll down menu once you're in the F3s and then you'll, you'll see the tank pads. 50 models available online. When we come up with new ideas and new themes, that's where you'll find them. So look often. We do have other products for the F3. I've got a beautiful uh, carry bag shelf that goes on back of the BRP backrest. I have those stainless steel uh, bolts that you can put some RAM mounts to put GPS, to put your, your cell phone, your drink holder. Uh, I also have beautiful floorboards that are very budget friendly and of course we're adding products every month if you have friends that have rts they haven't been left behind there's a whole section uh, and i forgot to mention very important for the f3 and f3s we do make a hitch that you don't even have to take off the axle so look for those once again thank you very much guys my name is pierre and you've been watching canm SpiderAccessories.com